Are you trying to create a browser extension that works seamlessly across Edge, Chrome, and Firefox using TypeScript? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to handle browser compatibility in your extension. I totally get it. Navigating the world of browser extensions can be tricky, especially when you want to ensure compatibility across different platforms. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked if there are any type definitions available for the interoperable browser extension objects, specifically for the browser and MS browser objects. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the issue here? When developing a browser extension, you want to ensure that your code runs smoothly across different browsers. The challenge arises when you need to define types for objects that may not have explicit TypeScript definitions available. And stick around. By the end of this video, I'll share a valuable resource that can help you with your TypeScript definitions for browser extensions. To address the user's question about type definitions for the browser and MS Browser objects, we can start by creating custom type definitions. This will help TypeScript understand these objects better. Next, the user should ensure that these custom type definitions are included in their TypeScript configuration. This can be done by updating the tsconfig.json file. Now, the user can modify their browser class to utilize these custom types. This will help avoid any TypeScript errors related to the browser and MS Browser objects. Finally, the user should test their implementation to ensure that the type definitions are working correctly. They can do this by running their TypeScript code and checking for any errors. Fun fact, did you know that the first web browser, World Wide Web, was created in 1990? It's amazing how far we've come since then, and now we're building extensions that work across multiple platforms. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution comes from a user who suggests using web extensions for cross-browser extension development. They point out that a popular type file for the web extensions API can be found at GitHub, specifically at WebEx Types. This could be a helpful resource for your project. Here's the resource I promised. Check out Definitely Typed on GitHub. It's a fantastic repository for TypeScript type definitions and you might find what you need for browser and MS Browser objects there. And there you have it. With these tips, you should be well on your way to creating a compatible browser extension. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on TypeScript and browser development.